Hi, and thanks for watching this online demonstration of James Hardy Linear Weatherboard. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Linear Weatherboard to get the Hamptons look. To start off, you'll need the Linear Weatherboard to the correct quantity. For timber frames, you can use a 40 by 2.8 millimeter fiber cement nails for concealed fixing, or 60 by 3.15 millimeter bullet head nails for face fixing. For steel frames, you can use the hardy drive or the tri-fix screws. For fire rated walls, use 60 by 3.15 millimeter and 75 by 3.15 millimeter for concealed fixing. All fixings should be corrosion resistant. Use corrosion resistant 25 millimeter brad nails to minimize gaps by face fixing where required. 75 by 75 corner flashing. James Hardy Hardy Wrap. James Hardy Joint Sealant for the tongue and groove joint. Linear starter strip, corner and other flashings. When it comes to associated accessories, your preferred internal corner accessory accent trim. It's a fiber cement product available in four different dimensions. This fits best with the Hamptons look you want to achieve. For tools, you'll need nail gun and correct specification nails. A spirit level, drill, hardy blade saw blade or comparable fiber cement blade. Vacuum extraction with filter appropriate for capturing fine respirable dust, story rod and your PPE. Okay guys, most importantly, safety first. Always wear your standard PPE, a P1 or P2 dust mask and work in a well ventilated area. So it's really important to tell people in the immediate area that there may be dust, never cut inside, and always put a dust extraction system connected to your circular saw when cutting. For more details, check out the James Hardy safety data sheet. Before we go through the installation, there's a couple of design considerations. The linear weatherboard implies in itself up to about 40. However, you can still use it in a flame zone if it's going on a fire rated wall. Keep in mind the James Hardy Linear Weatherboard is suitable for both timber and steel frames. Generally, internal and external corners have additional framing requirements. Install the Hardy Wrap wherever you intend on installing the James Hardy Linear Weatherboard. Flashings and corner accessories are installed prior to fixing the James Hardy Linear Weatherboard. Ensure the frames and the windows are fitted in prior to fixing the James Hardy linear weatherboard. You don't have to use a nail at the bottom of the board unless you're using the face fixing option. Don't forget you can also complement corners using the accent trim. It's ideal for edge treatment around windows and finishing touches to internal and external corners. Now we're going to break down the installation process into four easy steps. Okay guys, so step one is the linear starter strip. Make sure your board doesn't go more than 20 to 50 mil past the slab edge. So there's your starter strip, there's your board. You've got a maximum of 50 mil past this, this slab edge. Remembering that that starter strip, you've only got 20 mil. Otherwise you'll push your board out of the wrong, at the wrong angle. You get that right, the rest is easy. Okay guys, step two, install the board. So we just use the Pazlo 50 mil galvanized nails. You can go right down to a 40 by 2.8 mil nail as per the spec guide. I've pre-marked all my, my uh, laser points onto this external corner. So I just basically follow my lines, put a fix in. Try not to come down any more than 30 mil, otherwise the next board won't cover it. Make sure your first board is spot on level and then fix on your stud points. So normally you start from the middle and work your way to the ends with your fixings, but on a wall this size, we're just gonna start from the end. So step three is install the next board. So make sure you have your 30 mil cover and you follow your story rod marks on your external corners. The good thing about linear is it's got a 30 mil cover so it conceals the fixings from the board below. So when installing the linear boards, make sure you leave a two mil gap from the edges for expansion and so you've got room to put your James Hardy caulking all the way up the external corners and internal. Final step, so all you have to do is fix all your boards off, as easy as that. The great part about the linear boards is they give you a tongue and groove joint, so you don't need to join on the stud. You can join wherever you want, 
Just try and stay at least 100 mil from each stud, so you're not coming too close to it. But as you can see, it gives you a pretty seamless finish. Once that's painted, you don't see any joints. Thanks for watching this online demonstration of how to install the James Hardy Linear Weatherboard. For more information, check out the technical manual.